power outages have been a big issue in the country for the past weeks. And Zesa Holdings have already come out explaining plans to try and restore normalcy. From their presentation this week, indications are that there are a lot of issues that must be dealt with. ZTN Prime's Francisca Musheche was on the ground to give us the impact. 61-year-old lady relies on a tuck shop for a living and with the recent power cuts she says she has a cut down on her cells and this is affecting her business and her livelihood. This comes at a time when Zimbabwe is facing the worst drought in years. The winter wheat crop has therefore been prioritized. These informal businesses in Highfield are crying foul. The sea authorities must find a balance. According to the Zimbabwe National Chamber of Commerce, the, the informal sector contributes around 65% of the country's economy. This represents 42 billion United States dollars at GDP purchasing power uh, parital levels. We are purchasing uh, utility batteries. They're quite large, they're quite expensive. They are equivalent to 600 megawatts. We have taken measures that we feel very confident about to be able to supply the economy completely. The World Bank projects that the current electricity demand will increase from the current 1,900 megawatts to 5,000 megawatts by 2030. This will be primarily driven by the mining and agricultural sectors. There is this saving of um, transitioning large consumers like the ferrocrops to produce their own capacity, farmers to have their own solar. So there should be an end uh, in the foreseeable future. The outrages have not been made better by technical challenges at Wange Power Station. In the past week, ZPC was forced to take out Unit 8 from the grid. On Friday night, uh, the leak deteriorated and we had to take out the unit and uh, we've done some intervention measures which will see this unit coming back uh, to production uh, later today. Yeah. And that's what we're 335 megawatts. The biggest question is will Zesa find an immediate solution and at what cost? We have to import power from South Africa. We have to import power from uh, Mozambique, Mozambique we are getting from HCB India, South Africa we are getting from ESCO. These people involved in small businesses want normal electricity supply restored. And if ZESA can keep its promise, the better for their livelihoods. For ZTN Prime, I am Francisca Mshetje in Harare. Konapo Konapo, Ipapwe Papo pa ZTN Prime, DSTV Channel 294, the place to be.